Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this video is for a friend of P.A. Wilds who's having an issue with his revolver. Uh, with the cylinder being stuck and he can't get it open. I'm assuming it's a Smith & Wesson because a uh, Colt rotates the opposite way. All but uh, two models I know of, they turn the opposite way, and then Ruger's different. So this is just for Smith & Wesson. Hopefully it's a Smith & Wesson. All right, so he can't get the cylinder open, okay? And uh, the, the plunger's not operating, and it's a very common problem. Now, if as long as it's not a bullet coming forward or a squib, this is the fix. And it often happens at the range while you're shooting. Uh, in that case, just take it home and take your time. If you're at the range and it's empty and you want to fix it right now, uh, you got to improvise. All right. So, uh, he can't get the cylinder open. So you have, uh, you have a plunger rod that goes all the way through your ejector rod and, um, hits this plunger and opens it up. Well, a common problem and I was going to post them a link, and then I realized there's, uh, on a quick search, I couldn't find any uh, videos on YouTube uh, just to show them, so I'm doing this video. So, he can't get the cylinder open. So what you do is, uh, if it's loaded, you got to be very careful, but you just cock the hammer just enough so your cylinder turns without hitting the stop. Okay? So you can turn the cylinder. Your ejector rod tightens the opposite of a screw. So Lucy is tidy, okay? So it's the opposite direction. And so the easy, quick uh, way to get it open is to take a wedge of wood or a hard rubber, make a wedge and stick it right where it's knurled here at the end right here where it can grab and wedge it in here and preferably in two spots where you can kind of squeeze it all right and wedge it in there so this is this won't move when it turns and then turn your cylinder and that's going to make it tighten the opposite way loosey tidy okay and that will give you just enough to tighten this down to where you can get this open again. I hope we're on camera. So while this is wedged in, uh, you barely cock your hammer and then you can turn it. See right now I can't turn the cylinder because it's wedged. And that's going to tighten us back down the opposite way of a screw. Okay, and then you get it open again, and you're good to go. You can take it home, fix it, whatever. Now, to take your cylinder off, there's probably plenty of videos. It's this screw here. Use the proper screwdriver. And make sure you clear here with one of the flutes in your cylinder so you don't scratch when it comes out. And then pull that out with the crane. And then you can use a padded vise or a, a wrapped piece of leather and tighten it down the opposite of a screw, loosey tidy. Don't ever use Loctite. It's got very fine threads in here. Don't ever use Loctite and don't over tighten. These are very fragile threads inside here where it ends up. And so don't over tighten, just get it snug and you're good to go. So I hope this helps. So if it's loaded, um, you're barely bringing the hammer back, just enough to clear the stop that goes in here. And even if it was loaded, uh, it's not gonna fire if you did that. But take it home and be very careful. Oftentimes it ha happens at the range. If you're in an indoor range, put it back in your rug, take it home. Outdoor range, you can do it, pointed down range, wedge it with something, improvise, take your pocket knife, 
find some wood, take it off the bench, whatever, and wedge it in there uh, nice and tight. And then, uh, and then turn your cylinder and that will allow it to tighten itself back up enough to get it open. Then you can take it home and fix it. I hope this helps. And if you guys have revolver or other gun questions, just let me know. I'll, I'll uh, answer your question the best I can. This happened to me a long time ago, uh, early 90s, with the Model 15 at the range. Luckily, I was unloaded and uh, fixed it right on the spot and then took it home and tightened it down better. You know, with the proper, you, you go really easy. These are very fragile parts. You don't want to bend your rod. And uh, even when you're wedging it here, it's still inside the plunger. See this little hole here? The plunger fits in there, so it's centered. So you're not really, you're not gonna bend anything unless you go crazy. But you don't wanna go crazy when you're working on guns, okay? So that's the fix. Just barely bring the hammer back so the stop, which is right here, that's your stop that goes in the notches of your cylinder. You just wanna clear that. So you can turn the cylinder and tighten that bad boy up enough to get it open and take it home and fix it. I hope this helps and thanks for watching. Until next time.